The coronavirus pandemic has become an endless nightmare for much of the world. Despite the development and distribution of a range of new vaccines, many countries are still struggling to battle the deadly waves of the highly transmissible disease. As the world steps up efforts to contain the deadly virus, new variants are rapidly replacing older versions, making the situation even more frightening. Many thousands of people lose their lives every day worldwide, despite restrictive measures that have paralyzed economies. The pandemic could get much worse before it gets better. The world is undoubtedly eager to find out how the whole thing began, so that future risks can be minimized. The origin of COVID-19 has been a major bone of contention, especially between the world's worst coronavirus hit country, the United States, and China, where the deadly virus was first detected in December 2019. The two sides have exchanged barbs over the origin of the crisis. Now all eyes are focused on a fact-finding mission on the origins of the pandemic. A team of scientists from the World Health Organization is right now in the Chinese city of Wuhan, trying to find out the origins of the outbreak. The WHO says its fact-finding mission in Wuhan is purely scientific, but the probe is facing a political minefield. The World Health Organization team will carry out on-the-ground investigations into the source of the new coronavirus. The WHO scientists will visit different places in Wuhan and talk to people and officials. The WHO says all hypotheses are on the table during the probe. The WHO team is expected to inspect a seafood market in Wuhan, which was linked to many of the first COVID-19 cases in December 2019. The scientists will also visit hospitals that treat coronavirus patients in the city. But how much will the team of investigators be able to uncover? The WHO experts face a tough task as the city has been repeatedly disinfected. The investigation is ongoing in Wuhan, but there have been cautions against expecting any breakthroughs soon. It could take years before any firm conclusions can be reached. What's making the WHO mission even tougher is the fact that it has been highly politicized. Several countries, particularly the United States, accuse the Chinese government of hiding the outbreak's severity during its early stages. The administration of former U.S. President Donald Trump kept criticizing China for alleged failures in containing the outbreak and refusing to tell the truth. The WHO itself was branded by Trump as a, quote, puppet of China. The Chinese government has dismissed Western allegations, saying the virus might have begun outside of China. Trump is now gone, but the White House is keeping up pressure on Beijing. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki expressed concern this week about what she called misinformation coming out of China. Beijing has warned against any negative speculation and politicized interpretation of the fact-finding mission. Will the WHO scientists be able to carry out their investigation properly despite all the political pressure? Obviously, the scientific medical investigation may help for future prevention or development of science in terms of understanding how viruses change and how uh, how the pandemic started and how the new virus uh, originated. Obviously, uh, among scientists, uh, or at least the majority of scientists, believe what happened is a natural mutation of the virus. Observers believe that the scientists should be allowed to complete their work independently because the results could prove vital for the future of mankind. <laughs>